My name's Helen. I've been a musician from a young age. I suffer from ADHD, which led to a breakdown. Um, I wasn't diagnosed till I was 20, and that's really late for ADHD. I just picked up a load of leaflets, and right mine was happened to be one of them, but I didn't know what it was or anything. I just, just like thought, well, might as well give it a go. We start a fiver in the gym, or just for like 10 minutes or something, just so people can get themselves into gear. Or sometimes, like lately, we start doing more things that get people engaged, like socially and mentally, like uh, team games and things like that are fun. People might not realise they're doing exercise because there's a wide range of ages and abilities, and everyone respects all of that. Now that I'll be giving a voice, being able to give a voice to mental health awareness, and like now, I'm actually can say that I'm having fun and I'm happy and I just hadn't had that. I'd describe the programme as life-saving. My name's uh, Abbas Kabir. I'm from Sudan. I've been in Nottingham for seven years. I fled the war from Darfur to seek asylum in England, and I'm settled in England now. I've got uh, some friends and some, some family members in Nottingham. They recommended me to come to Nottingham if you want to live a good life here, because it's a pretty city, it's very clean, and the people are really friendly. I really uh, appreciate what Nottingham County doing to the refugee, because like that project helped me to come meet some new refugees. The, my favorite part of the, the, the program is like, you know, bringing the all the, the refugees together to know each other. The, the staff in the work in Nottingham County, they're really incredible guys. I'm really funny, they're really friendly. I think it's not just football, you know, learning some English, knowing, uh, like make some friends. Uh, my future in Nottingham is quite clear. I'm, I'm, I'm settled in Nottingham. I've got my family here. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy living here. I would describe the program in one word, incredible. My name's Suzanne. I'm um, first diagnosed with cancer in 2007, uh, breast cancer, where I had a tumour removed. And then I had six lots of chemotherapy, 40 lots of radiotherapy. And then after that, unfortunately, last year it came back. Um, this time I've had a full breast removal, surgery again, uh, another five lots of chemotherapy, and another 40 lots of radiotherapy. First time I had chemotherapy, I had major problems with this arm. And then I spoke to my cancer nurse who put me on to Rob. I didn't know anything about the care programme, must admit. This is just amazing. I turned up to see Rob, took me around, showed me everywhere around, and just felt as though I could come whenever I want. I feel totally invigorated, total use in this arm now. Okay, I've broken this one. <laughs> That's another story. Um, but yeah, I feel so energised. I feel like I can get up and face the world now. It's brilliant. In care, there's lots of ladies like myself, and, and care brings us together um, as a group, um, and we've all got different abilities, but we all just do what we can do and help each other along. And the team, the care team are lovely. They're very supportive, and, and they're always on hand. I didn't even know that care was anything to do with football or Portland Leisure Centre or anything like that. So yes, and, and I do promote it as often as I can because I don't think many cancer patients are aware it's available. I'll probably describe the care programme in two words and say it's been life-changing. I'm Danny. Um, I, I enjoy football. Um, I'm really passionate about it. Um, my health condition is schizophrenia but there's a massive question mark over it. They're looking at BPD, which is borderline personality disorder, PTSD, and uh, ADHD. My moods fluctuate uh, rapidly. It's like a roller coaster. Every day is like a roller coaster. I put on 10 stone in eight months, which I've currently lost. I was attracted to on the ball because of football. It's, it's as simple as that. But I found, once I was there, camaraderie, friendships, 
and they're a good bunch of lads. On the ball has helped me uh, get involved in fitness and live a healthier lifestyle. It's helped me achieve my level one coaching, level two sports leaders, and uh, first aid gave me the confidence to get up and go, which the medication took away. Usually at the start there's like a drill, I have a passing, a shooting drill uh, with all the lads taking part and then a game, it goes into games. The workshop side of it, they run every couple of weeks. They involve subjects around mental health. So anxiety, moods, anger. I think the coaches bring, a lot of them bring character, different characters, uh, banter, they bring the banter, but they bring experience as well. Um, different backgrounds, diverse backgrounds. It's helped me massively. Um, and I wanna, I wanna kinda help the project um, any way I can. Um, for it to help others. If I was to describe on the ball in one word, it would be recovery, because it was a massive part of my recovery, and it's that simple. As you probably know by now, I like an unexpected ending. People expect football coaching from Notts County Football in the community, it's in our name. But what they don't expect from us is teachers, role models, fitness instructors, team builders or health and support workers. But that's just what we are. We are the community, brought together through football. No one else can do the work we do. Doctors, schools, the police, psychiatric nurses, None of them have our unique position as part of the world's oldest football league club in local people's hearts and minds. And they don't have the skills and ability to engage such a wide range of different people to deliver these much needed programmes in Nottinghamshire. As a charity, it's our duty to do it for them. Please help us by supporting our funding for our work in the future.